Hello everyone and welcome to uh, the topic of functional entities description. In this we are going to discuss about the KPIF um, functional entities description. We had discussed about in uh, like uh, in architecture class the different entities. Now let's uh, discuss about uh, its uh, description of various entities and its functions. First let's discuss about the invoker as application programming interface invoker. API invoker it is provided by the third party application provider and it is provided by third party application provider who has the service agreement with the PLMN operator. Invoker as it is provided by the third party application provider and it has the agreement with the PLMN operator. This invoker may resi reside within the same trust domain as the PLMN operator network. So where it reside, it can reside in your PLMN or in the same trust domain as your PLMN operator network. Uh, the various capabilities supported by this, it supports the authentic authentication by providing invoker entity and other information which is required for authentication of these invokers. So capabilities first we had discussed about that it supports the authentication. Uh, how it supports the authentication because it provides the API invoker identity and also the various other information which is required for authentication of these invokers. It supports the mutual authentication with the KPIF and it obtains the authorization prior to accessing the service APIs. Now it also discovers the service API information and also invokes the other or the service APIs. KPIF core function CCF The KPIF core function consists of the different uh, capabilities. Now what are the different capabilities that it supports? Authenticating the API invoker, it authenticates the API invoker. Based on the identity, based on identity and other information which is required for authentication these invokers. It supports mutual authentication with the API invokers. It provides authorization for the invoker prior accessing the service APIs. So it authenticate the invoker based on identity. It supports the mutual authentication with the invokers. It provide authorization prior accessing these service APIs. Other capabilities are supported by KPIF like it publish, it store, it supports the discovery of service API information. It controls the service API access which is based on PLMN operator configured policies. It stores the logs for the service API invocation and it provides the service API invocation logs to the authorized entities. Also it performs the charging which, uh, which is based on logs of the service invocation. It performs the monitoring of invocations. It performs onboarding of new API invoker and offboarding API invokers as well as storing various policy configurations which are related to KPIF and all the service APIs. Other than this, it supports accessing the various logs for auditing like we can, uh, like we can detect abuse etc. It supports the publishing discovery of service information with the other KPIF core function in a KPIF interaction. Next is API exposing function API AEF. So exposing function is basically the provider of these APIs. 
it is also the service communication entry point of various service apis to the api invokers now what are its uh, capabilities that it provides authenticate it authenticate it authenticates the api invoker based on the identity and other information which is required for authentication of these invokers and this is provided by the kpf core function it validates the authorization which is provided by the kpf core function it lodging the service invoke invocations at the kpf core function next is api publishing function this api publishing function it enables this api provider so that it can publish the service api information the publishing of this service api information is basically to enable the discovery of service apis service apis by the invokers the api publishing function consists of the different capabilities now what are the different capabilities that it contains like it publishes the service information of the api provider to the kpf core function management function the api management function it enables this provider to perform the administration of the service api it also consists of the different uh, capabilities now what are the different capabilities that it covers like it audit the service invocation logs which are received from the kpf core function it monitors various events which are reported to the KPF, by the kpf core function so monitoring of events configuring the api provider policies to the kpf core function so monitoring of the status also performs by this onboarding of new api invokers and offboarding of such api invokers it performs the registering and maintaining the registration information of the service provider domain functions on the kpf core function so onboarding of new api invokers offboarding registering maintaining all of these functions are defined by this thank you